thing that blew his ass out. Yeah, it was gracious. gross as hell. <laughs> That's why I don't lift heavy weights. Late 90s, early 2000s internet, folks. All right, I'm going to put us live. Or I'm gonna... Two Nerds, One Quest, brought to you by <laughs> LimeWire, BearShare, and Rotten.com. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode of Two Nerds One Quest is brought to you by BearShare, LimeWire, and Rotten.com. Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to Two Nerds One Quest. I am your host and DM JC Denver here with these four nerds where we're remis- reminiscing about late 90s, early 2000s internet file sharing. That man looking at his phone in the green fedora. Rocking the Darkwing Duck, speaking of late 90s, early 2000s. My shirt is one Ryan Crixus Kukta. How you doing this morning, bud? Fantastic. I mean, if I don't add show titles about uh, 90s and early 2000s uh, web applications, who's going to do it? Yeah, <laughs> I have a funny feeling there's going to be a theme in our show titles this week. <laughs> that man in the In This Moment shirt, which is making fly is one Tom M. Norman. All I can say, though, Tom, is if I could be in in this moment... Never mind, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I think you know where I'm going. Now I'm just confused and a she, little flustered. She's pretty. Oh, she's very pretty. Yeah. She is. <laughs> Ave Maria. Yep. I am. I'm good. Thank, thank you for the trip down... 90s computer <laughs> virus memory lane. <laughs> virus memory <laughs> lane. <laughs> that, that would be my virus memory lane. Yeah, that's... Of course, that man on the bottom of my screen, but the top of our hearts is one Rick Lefebvre. How are you doing this morning, buddy? Doing good. Good morning, everyone. So How's, Chelsea we were talking pre- How's Chelsea doing? <laughs> it's uh, 2 nothing at the end of the first half. Ooh, this is like right. the third week in a row where they have played during the stream. I don't know why this is a thing now, but... Seems to happen. Yeah. <laughs> the Sunday games. What? Didn't the EPL play yeah, on Saturdays? <laughs> and of course, last but not least, our limerick maker, our lore master, the lazy dragon, our lovable crew, Jeff Williams. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Doing good. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day to all of those who celebrate and to those in Ireland. Sorry we appropriated your holiday that, and then confused the heck out of you with what we do. I yeah, deserve it. I have a friend who's who is <laughs> blatantly Irish posted posted to his Instagram. He goes, as someone who is like largely Irish heritage, we appreciate the desire for beer on things or on St. Patrick's Day, but we also know there are no green beers. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Green beer so. always tastes a bit off. Stupid food dye coloring. Yeah. And then you're never mind. I'm not gonna say it. No, you uh, shit green the next day like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tom said it. <laughs> Plus that stuff is like it's weird. It's made out of like cricket butts and shit like that. All those food dyes. That seems hoppy. That mm-hmm. well, seems natural. Wow, that was like a triple entendre hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Jeff, I'm gonna have to add tournament organizer to your intro sheet uh, uh, i don't know if we want to talk uh, about this now or be a post show probably a post show <laughs> thing but we are doing in honor of march madness a 64 team where a team equals a show title jeff went through all our show titles of all 175 two nerds one quest shows and narrowed them down to a bracket of 64 teams with a little bit of our help that we will be voting down to the grand champion 
Let's be honest. One quest show title. Let's be honest. This was all geniuses do doing. <laughs> my my help yeah, ended up I, was uh, a little history on my my uh, experience with brackets outside of the NCAA. Uh, there was a um, guy who uh, had started working with us. He was from uh, upstate New York, and um, in order to get him introduced to the area, we started going to different restaurants every day for lunch. And so after a while, we you know, it happened to be March, and we said, you know what would be fun is if we put all those restaurants into a bracket. So we did that for actually a few years and uh, came out with like the top Green Bay area brackets or uh, restaurants that worked well for us. Ranked them on like cost and uh, service and obviously flavor. Yeah. What was uh, number like one, dare I ask? So, uh, over the years, um, we had to retire Los Magallas because it started winning every year. So, if you, <laughs> if you have not had Los Magallas, <laughs> yes. um, that's fair. And then uh, Mandarin Garden, but uh, if you want them, you have to go there before May because they're closing for good, uh, according to their um, according to their post. The the family that was running it is ready to retire. Um, I'm trying to think. The Pancake Place, I think, was on there uh, as a winner. Um, and uh, I think Cranky Pats might have been nice. one of the other ones. Uh, especially when they had, for a brief time, they, I think, and maybe they still do, but they, they had a place up on Lineville that was easy to get to from the highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's still there. I would not know that's far away from my house. <laughs> so... So oh, yeah, so said, I had a, eh? I had a I, I had the bracket already set up. I just had to fill it with teams. Yep. So we got that. Yeah. Today's selection Sunday mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. kind of appropriate. We're kicking this off here. So we'll go through post show, and if you wanna. Yeah, I mean, going through all of them would take quite a while, but uh, we could do some of them and see do, what happens. Do the first thirty-two matchups. The next go. Oh. We aren't going to be around for two weeks. I have a feeling. And we can report out on the winners, too. I mean. That's true. Yes, you can yeah. always post out the thing. All right. That's a good it reason is. to follow yeah. us on Discord and on yeah. social media. Yeah. You? Yeah. Exactly. Jeff. So you last recap week. And a limerick. <laughs> you, know what, you know what next year's tournament's going to be is your limericks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I actually thought about that last night. Uh, but that would be a lot of words uh, if we did 64. So maybe we oh, maybe, maybe we start with uh, top 16 or something. Or 16, sweet 16. That's, that's yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. Today's today's limerick brought to you by the city of Limerick, Ireland. Also celebrating St. Patrick's Day today. <laughs> um, that, tied that together. Uh, so last week we started our show heading back to town uh, to get a little rest and uh, drink a little at the, at the, the Belching Dragon. Uh, we had a day off while we were getting our stuff together with some crafting and some uh, selling and purchasing type um, things. And then we um, got up the next day, collected our stuff and went back to the gauntlet uh, down on the third floor. Um, walking past a depressed Barnabas out front who no longer has a toy to play with. Um, we first went and freed the Devil Corlock by bringing him his contract and he found the loophole he was looking for to allow him to leave. So then uh, Lady Sill found a tasty fungus on a guy who had been imprisoned for way too long. Um, Abed was digging in the couch where the green light came from in a previous episode and found a, a vial of arsenic. Um, when Crew thought he could do the same thing in the next room, turns out there was a big red eye that dazed and confused him, and Kane had to save the day by getting him out of there, and um, and we pretty much ended the episode standing in the hallway. Uh, so Limerick is that uh, is from that event. When Crew goes into the eye's space, he's afraid and gets frozen in place. Kane pulls his butt clear, but Crew's still in great fear till Lady Sill slaps him right in the face. Nice. That is perfect. That is perfect. A couple things, um, just for flavor and fun. Uh, Corlock realized that the time period <laughs> on his document was well beyond his time that he should be serving. That's why he looked at his marks on the wall and then went, oh, well, shit, poof, disappeared. 
Um, the other thing is, Jeff, when you said dazed and confused, two things went through my head. First of all was uh, Robert Plant singing, I've been dazed and confused so long. Uh, it's true. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's always, when I think of that movie, I think, man, there was a freshman that climbed up these steps a few years back and fell at his head on every rung on the way down. I heard he only had two beers. How many did you have? Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you're so screwed. Yeah, that movie. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That movie is top five for me <sighs> in my life. I'd have to categorize that to put that in the top anything. Like, that would have to be top five comedies, maybe. <laughs> and I don't even know if it would get there for me. Oh, but I love it. That's a whole different bracket for us to run, and Jeff's laundry's done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just keep getting the top notes over it. Deep, 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 yeah. Deep. So, you guys are in the hallway here. You have just come out of this room. Lady Sill has closed the door. She has slapped crew. You are no longer frightened. What would you um, like to if someone wants to uh, give me a little treat wounds, if you want to take 10 minutes, if not, we can keep moving on. I think I have 12 hit points, but that's neither here nor there. It's just kind of that middling. I would love to treat your wounds. I was going to say, the way this floor has been, someone should probably treat his wounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. I don't know if you remember what the eye did to you. Like uh, it was one hit. Yeah, no, <laughs> I mean, I listened took. to that it went yesterday. from 38 to 17, dude, <laughs> or 12 yeah. or whatever it is. Only, only, oh, well, yeah, sorry, 17, yeah. Um but yeah, only one, I think one or two points was from Lady Sill slapping me. Yeah. Just the one. So you have a do the door of Miss Frost closed. You have a door to the south of this hallway. Yeah, I think we'll keep going south. Yeah. Would, would anybody have interest of trying to go in the room with the eye if they like got their eyes so they couldn't see it? Or covered the, covered the eye up with something so that... <laughs> Quick, get a blanket. Maybe it could hurt you if it couldn't see you? I mean, probably not crew. Uh, he had a bad experience. I'm proposing this for the people who are more arc arcanic knowledge than I am. I did not I see. Have a lot of have to go in there, of course. Knowledge. I did not see what it was, so I would not be able to do a check on it. Through getting his senses back and kind of not being frightened anymore, you realize this is very similar to the kobolds around the dinner table upstairs and the blood in the lighthouse. Very similar situation. <laughs> Residue of past something now uh -huh. haunting this room. Okay, we won't deal with it. We'll just leave it alone. Did, um, do we have ten minutes to do a quick treat wounds, or otherwise I'll get the next door open? Uh, Lady Cell said she was going to treat your wounds, yeah. Okay. Uh, while she's treating his wounds... Uh, crew is gonna or Abed's gonna ask crew about the eye specifically. What did it did it mesmerize you? What happened? It it was red. <laughs> it was big. It was on the wall, but not because I hit the wall with acid, and the wall was hurt, but the eye was not. Um, did it, it just it made me paranoid. A little bit afraid, and uh, and uh, I could not recognize the fact that you guys were my friends and uh, and allies, because um, I thought Kane was going to murder me. Thought he was going to stuff me in the trunk and drive me out to the middle of nowhere. The damage was mental too. With with that knowledge, could I do like a recall knowledge? like history check on if this is something I've read about mm. or is this, more or is this this arcane? something it yeah. would be more occult than okay. arcane so it wasn't a monster it was a something it tied didn't seem to like it place. had much physical form it's not like it was trapped there. It just felt like it was there. So it's something tied to this place. Watching. <laughs> Watching. 
You had waiting. A, you had a sense something was watching you. I, I mean, I always the feel like that. Time. But... All right, N genius nine. Yay! Somebody's watching. Oh. All right, that gets me mid twenties. That, that should be enough to. Thank you, Jeff. That'll be in my head all morning. You're welcome. <laughs> Abed will pull out his map of this floor and just kind of put a mark on it, yeah. like an eye with a okay. <laughs> with a beware. Don't go here. Bam. Beware, beware, <laughs> be very, very aware. The be no, beware was two days ago, Jeff. It's St. Patrick's Day now. Mm. So you go to this door down here, Jeff, or Chris. yeah, I'll check it for traps and. Uh, go ahead Let's and roll it's in, uh, a perception check. Or thievery check. You can do a thievery uh, check. 28 on a thievery check. It is absolutely not trapped. Although um, it does have a lock on it, it is not currently locked either. All right. Um, I will open it, but I, after stepping into the last room, I will just s look and see what's past the door. So you open it, uh, and you open the door. That's a pretty um, room. Standing right here is he looks like the Morlocks you fought upstairs, crossed with the ghouls you fought down here. <laughs> and he kind of looks up at you and undead Straight from uh, Conan O'Brien's If They Made It. <laughs> hello. Who are you? And why are you coming through that door? Most people come through this door. <laughs> he points to, to the door to his right as he's looking at you. Uh, I'm, I'm crew and uh, I'm full of surprises. Um, hmm. I will kind of wander this way and kind of around the backside of... Is this like a fountain or... Um, in the so. middle of this room, it's a large cross-shaped chamber containing several long couches, leather cushions that once adorned them are cracked with age. The dead plants lie slumped in, a, in planter boxes along the walls, and the fountain in the center of the room is long dried up. It depicts a lighthouse. Hmm. He, as you walk, he... He doesn't, he's not, he's cautious. He moves to the other side of the fountain and just kind of keeps an eye on you. Always just trying to maintain a position of not getting cornered. Um, but he doesn't seem hostile either. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, what What do you do down here? What's, what's your job? Uh, I don't fit around here very well. Um, the Morlocks don't like me because I'm a ghoul. And the ghouls don't like me because I'm not overly violent like them. Mm. So I sit here reading and collecting books. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and then eating on uh, any of the undead that have um, died are you the ones that eliminated most of most of the brutes down the hall there uh, uh yeah i guess that would be us uh they um they... Thank, thank you for the meal oh, oh you're welcome uh, i still have we... more to eat I, I was so full i could not eat anymore are these bookshelves, John, um, in this room? Yeah, there are bookshelves in this room. I'll start looking through for books that might interest me. Oh, Tom, really? Uh, looking uh -huh. through here, there isn't anything. Like, he sees you. Um, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Time out. They are not bookshelves. This is a, this is like a um, waiting chamber. Oh. A um, waiting room. They're planters and couches. That's then I will not be looking through anything. 
I'm just going to stand there and observe. Okay, and the waiting room doesn't have reading material. I can get you reading material. Hi- highlights for ghouls. Um, highlights for ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> find the tongue. <laughs> find the tongue. Find the skeleton. Uh, find uh, the... Yeah, I'll I'll say um. Hey, I'm nice a, coach. Uh, he, he offered to go get you some uh, some books. Anything in particular you'd like him to fetch for you? Oh, I don't know. Something interesting? Are you looking for books? I'll point over to Abed. He's a he's a uh, definitely a book lover. Mm. Very much a bibliophile. Yes. E. If you would have any type of books, I would be more than happy to look through them. He he steps to you, Abed, and he kind of peeks up under your hood a little bit. (laughs) See you. What kind of books do you like? What kind of books do you have? I like I like books about arcane and mystery, history, magic. His eyes get real wide. Um, make a uh, um, diplomacy check. Oh, Maybe shit. Talking to him. Crew, make a perception check as you're over there. That's a hard, hard 20, nine. 26. Almost in that 20. Crew, you see a, a seam in the wall behind you. Or behind the sofa there. Okay. That looks like it might be more than just a seam in the paneling. Hoping it's not an eye. Um, yeah, definitely right. Um, he kind of looks at you and just, "Hmm, okay. There may be books like that around, yes. If you could point me in the direction or tell me... What Went floor they might the be? Back the way you came. <laughs> back the way I came? Oh, that's... Through the restricted section. Through the restricted section. Would you been to? We uh-huh. found those books. Those were all like all rotted out, weren't they? Most of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was left in there? Well, thank you for your assistance. Um, he, I'm kinda, a... he bows. He walks over here. And he opens the door over here and... Looks and you you see Abed from where you're at. He, he looks and he's looking up the stairs and he's kind of wondering. And then he closes the door again. Are you waiting for someone? This is the way I was expecting you to come from. Most people come from this way. For someone to come out that way, very different. Those stairs just leave. Those, those stairs those, are those up. Yeah, those go up. Yeah. Good sir, are you familiar with the blood pool? Augurl. Augurl? Augurl. Augurl. My name is Abed. Name is Augurl. The man Abed. down who burst into your room here is Crew. This fine lady behind me is Lady Sill. And the man hiding out he does in a the hallway bow to Lady Sill. is Please. Kane. And then he kind of eyes Kane and nods. <laughs> are you familiar with the blood pool up on the first floor. The one that hurts your brain when you walk into the room. No. He came up from down below. To hmm. fight the ghouls. And I got bit. Oh. I, re- I remember. I'm sorry. Bits of it. Um, yeah, can I'm gonna... It's, it sucks. <laughs> he says is it... Tongue gets in the way sometimes. It's like elongated now. I have this craving for undead flesh. I'm, I'm going to message Miss Frost. Like, this this guy doesn't seem like a threat, but our job is to clear this place out. What do you think? Hey, you're a respectful ghoul. Uh, how how can we uh how can we best? clear this place out of all those enemies and bullies that were picking on you. Well, you, you kind of did. Like, I, I, I kind of... I, 
You have an intoxicating accent, miss. <laughs> so I, I, if you walk down that oh, hallway... Oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> if a ghoul could blush... <laughs> <laughs> um, he points down the hallway and goes, Well, I know if you go down there, there was the creepy fog. And then if you go to the right... There was, you go down that hallway. There's stairways. I never went up those stairways, though. But but in that big main hallway, there was, there was other ghouls. And you go up there, and then there's a restricted section. And I've been to there. That That's about it. That's I don't, I don't go much, much, much beyond that anymore. It's, um, yeah. It's not good. This place has gotten very bad. And I, I refuse to be a bad piece of it. So I isolate myself in here. This is my sanctuary. Sanctuary. Well, I appreciate that help. Uh, you know, perhaps uh, you should go uh, kind of into a, a different area because... I can't guarantee your safety in here. I can if I if I lock the doors, but no one comes in here to bother me. <laughs> um. Unless so the wall, the wall behind the, the couch, yeah. does it look like a secret door or just like a yeah. crack? Like, yeah. If you actually okay. get up on the couch and you kind of peek over it, you can see like a. An area where you, a board looks like it slides to the left. Yeah, if, I would. Uh, if I would I like see... to check that for traps and then try to open. Sorry. Go ahead and make a thievery check. What are you saying? If I see crew messing with the wall and like hopping up on the chair and stuff, I'll distract the. Uh, what is his name? Augrel. 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 And I'll ask him about the eye. Aw. Augrail. Augrail. A U G R A E L. Augrail. Augrail. I'll Augrail. ask Augrail um, about the eye that just about doomed crew. So I'll kind of get him to focus on me since he, if he looks at me, his back will be to to crew. He steps forward. Fourteen. He's like, I don't go in that room. I heard bad things about that room. I don't go in there. Yeah, we saw bad things about that room. You definitely should not go in there, but... And the other one has the green light. I don't go in there either because there's green light in there. That that green room is now fine. Bad stuff. That room is fine. But there's green light. Ah, the green light's minor. It runs away. Yep. It's on a loop. It's not going to hurt you. I don't know. What's a loop? A circular thing. It's not important right now. Uh, it just keeps happening and happening. It does not seem to be trapped, crew, if you'd like to open the door. Okay, I would like to open the door. You slide it open. Or push it open. You slide the lever on it and you push it open. It reveals a tunnel. Ooh. Like a natural tunnel. Hmm. All right. Uh, Agrel, suddenly he turns and he looks and goes, Oh, I thought I felt the air pressure change in here. Yeah, that's a tunnel back. Does it go? Well, it's blocked right now if you go far enough back on it. I think I think it went... I don't know where it went. It's blocked. There's like a dragon and, and a guy like... Stuck in it. I'm sorry, did you say a dragon? Yeah. A uh, green one. A, a green dragon. Uh, yes. How big? Big enough to get stuck in the tunnel. Looked like it was running from something. Is it dead? I think so, yes. It doesn't move. And a guy? And a guy. guy. It, what? Guy. Nothing. I was wondering if the guy was a goblin. That's... Yeah, guy, guy, go, gob, gob, what, goblin, big ears. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Abed's going to move down by crew and step into the tunnel to take a look. Yep. Leads away in the direction of Otari. Is your best guess. I'm going to turn back around to crew and I say... Rick has picked up on this. I would like to check this out. I would like to see this dragon. So which way? Uh, which way is the dragon? Left or, or right? To the west. Okay. Off the off the map. Does Lady oh. Sill have a uh, feeling like she's seen something like this before? Yeah. It looks it looks like familiar like rock. And like you have seen a green dragon and a goblin. We go far enough, Lady Sill will realize what happened to her compatriot mm -hmm. after exploring under the fishery. This tunnel leads to Otari, to the tunnel in the fishery's <laughs> basement, where the dragon you bested that ran away died, <laughs> along with. <laughs> hmm. um, this might be a uh, quicker way to get here, an easier way, especially if it's raining outside. We yeah, can just go through the fishery. You gotta clear uh, away the dead dragon first. <laughs> uh, all that right. Locks the majority of the tunnel. All right. So, uh, Abed, what's what's off to your left? Uh, or the east. It is a tunnel that curves about ten feet down, fifteen feet down. It it curves to the left a bit. My guess is it goes to a different part of this this building. It must be maybe a secret right, passage so... that whoever built this must have. Added. All right. So, when we Ms. left, Frost, Miss Frost is gonna uh, fill in everyone on on uh, where this tunnel leads, because obviously she is familiar with it. Hmm. Um. All right. Well, we we ended at a secret door when we when we uh, quit the other night, and now we got another secret tunnel. And we have a whole bunch of doors. What do you guys think Secret we should do? Tunnel. Secret tunnel. Well, should do this tunnel since we're here? Yeah. Or do you want to go back and look for more rooms? I think since we're here. Is there anything you do in this tunnel? Because we... Miss Maybe Frost it, is... it goes back to... Yeah. Well, the, the way, it runs the way to the right. Directions. Yeah, the way to the right oh. goes, must go back to Otari. But the one to the left kind of keeps... Uh, keeps... Okay. Looks like it's still underneath our uh, <clears throat> building here. Yeah. My guess is it pops so we'll open to a left. different room somewhere on this floor. Yeah, this tunnel is dark. You all have a way to see? I have my ever-burning torch. Okay. Just making sure. As you move down the tunnel... Say, do you want me to lead? I am not You've going to first. the nicest ghoul we've ever come across. Just let him know. Oh, thank you. Um, are you guys coming back, or should I close the door? We'll be coming back. I think we will try to come back. Okay. You might want to close the doors anyway. Um, we'll, we can give you the secret knock if we come back. What is the secret knock? Uh, it's it's uh, a little rhyme that they, they sing sometimes, shaving a haircut, two bits. And then I'll do that. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> he comes up behind you guys as you go in and he closes it. And there's a there's a um the definite sound of the air pressure like and it gets very quiet when he closes it. Alright. I would like to um turn on stealth mode and try to stay right. a little bit ahead. You hear the sounds of dripping water in the distance. All right. Definitely trying to be stealthy, knowing that I'm not sure how quiet everyone else is being behind me, but there's going to be. I'm not very loud naturally just because I don't have armor. I have robes, so I would be naturally swishy um, as opposed to clanky. Uh, natural 20 for 29 on a stealth check, if it matters. All right. How far ahead of them are you going to be? Uh, I'd like to say about 15 feet, maybe 20 feet. 
15 feet. Okay. Depending on how fast they're clicking on the map. 20 feet. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, go ahead and move all the way to the opening there. When you get to this opening, uh, before you is a large cavern, and the air is cold and damp in here. On the east wall of this cavern sits a sizable pond. And a lazy rivulet overflow of overflow trickles to the north, sloping down a tunnel. A five-foot diameter opening gapes in the ceiling above the center of the pond. Looks man-made. Okay, any creatures or signs of anyone inhabiting this particular area? You make a perception check. Uh, ten. Where, if there's a sound coming from around the corner here. Somewhere back over here in this area, you hear sound of okay. voices. Multiple hmm. voices. <clears throat> many, many voices. Starts off as one, but then there's more. And then there's some laughing. And then it suddenly sounds like almost like a restaurant. And it gets more and more chaotic and louder. Hmm. And like around. It, it sounds like there's more people than there should be down here. Yeah. Then. More people that than could be in a room this size. Hmm. And around the corner you see a come sliding around the corner. You just see the front edge of it. Just like a pile of goo. Like gray ooze with about four mouths on it. Uh, it keeps sliding further into vision. You realize it is a large pile of gray skin and flesh that seems to slide like a slug across the floor. And the voices are coming from the many mouths of this thing. Hundreds of them all over the surface of it. <clears throat> you're and gross. you're starting to question your sanity. Yeah, I'm going to go back and tell them very quietly okay. what I saw. And uh, I don't think Crew would have come across anything like this before. As Crew starts coming towards you guys, you start hearing the voices in the distance, like, hundreds of different voices coming at you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't... It's just like a big pile of goo with mouths on it. That sounds and it disgusting. sounds like people talking. <laughs> if I... should kill yourself. Um... <laughs> Did it sound like it was creeping into your mind, or was it the words? Uh, it feels like it was in my ears, like not not like telepathic, but like actually talking. But it felt like it was affecting my mind almost. Recall knowledge or cultism. All right. If you're looking for more information. Two. That's a natural one plus one. Uh, Ooh, you have no fucking clue what this is. It's yeah. you're freaked out. You are. You don't want to go near it. <laughs> 25. Um, Abed, you've heard of gibbering mouthers before. <laughs> you've never actually seen one, though. But you you are, based on crew's description, you are pretty damn certain that's exactly what this thing is. Would I... What have you heard about them? <laughs> would I know, like, if I shoved something in my ears, would that keep me sane? Is that something that I would know with the 25? Um, or would I know if it's like a, like a, not an actual auditory thing, but like a magical thing? I mean, um, from nursery rhymes, it probably yeah. says how to avoid them. You would, you would know. Um, you would understand that um, that that would help with that, but you also know that you probably can't eliminate it entirely. 
Mechanically, you get a circumstance bonus to your will save. If you did such a thing. So, um... I'll relay all that uh, information to the to the group, because <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> so, uh... I, choices are go in there and potentially have to fight it, or uh, head back to where we came from. Well, Through the one um, thing that has your curiosity and your one desire about, although you have no, you don't want to interact with this thing, whatever, whatsoever, like mm -hmm. you're truly fearful of it. But this wall right here is man-made. You can mm -hmm. tell that. And you, yeah, didn't, it... you didn't see the door to the stairs or anything. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this wall is man-made. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely seems like there's part of the, the, overall complex connected to it. Um, we have to clear the place out, so that would include yeah. this thing. I mean, this is definitely something that we can't let live it, and I don't know, it It looked solid to me. It didn't look like those ghosty things upstairs or the eye, so... Well, Ms. Frost, can you make a, a survival check for me? I would love to. I th I'm rolling... Uh, physical dice today. Yes. <laughs> that seems like a wise choice. And that is a 19 plus 3. 22. That is enough. Um, you recall a well in the level above that you heard voices coming up out of. And your sense of direction and placement places that well as being up ahead of you guys in this tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just uh, you know, I'll let the team know this thing has been around for a while, so give me a heads up. I'm gonna All right. Go to, uh, take a little tear in my bedroll and grab some stuffing out of it. Mm -hmm. Here. I'll take um, some. I'll take some cotton out of my wizard pouch. I'll, I'll pull. I'll pull my wig, my uh, quick wig, down over my ears a little bit, but. That's about all. Um, I'd say I'd like to sneak in there and fight it, or you know, sneak in there. But if it takes too long, I don't know that that's good either, because it seemed like not good to be in the same room with it for too long. So maybe Kane, you want to lead this charge? Okay. And I do think a charge right. may be the best option. All right. So I'll go right oh. to the edge and let Kane pass. Everyone, position yourself where you want to be. Um, okay. And I'm gonna give oh. Kane his turn, and then we'll roll initiative. Is uh, is it? It's still where it's where you have it on the map. Does it move? Um, yeah, it would have actually moved at this point. More, it's probably closer to here now. Okay. It looks like it's contemplating getting in the taking, water, taking a bath. <laughs> yeah, All right. it's got to wash out its filthy mouth. So you would say it's not oh. looking at us, right? It's looking in the opposite direction. Does us. it? Does it look like it has eyes? Uh, no, <laughs> like looking is not something <laughs> I describe it doing. <laughs> Talking, yes. Looking, no. <laughs> Talking, screaming, laughing, biting. Looking, no, not so much. Yeah, I'm okay. going dead last. All right. Right about the time I think Kane is going to do something, uh, Crew's actually going to run out and uh, go first. <laughs> um, so, so, so Kane's getting ready. He's got his stance. Yeah. He's got a nice wide stance. He's ready to take off running. Yeah. And Crew suddenly Kane right between your legs <laughs> goes tearing up right at him. Um, if I can have a whole turn, I would run all the way around it into the right into the water, assuming the water's not. Um, how, is it deep? Are you running into look, the water? Are you look, running into the water? You okay. can't There's only one way to find out you, if it's deep. <laughs> you you can't right. see the bottom when you get through it. Do you run into the water? Okay, then I will, I will stop at the edge. Then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remembering that I'm a short guy. And, I was uh, like, holy shit. <laughs> so that would actually take two actions to move. So uh, at best, I get one attack. Okay, go ahead and attack it. Um, then we will, let's see. Um, Kane, because this surprised you, I'm going to give you an action that takes place at the same time, so you can move up to it if you want to, before we get into the initiative. 
because crew freaking wrecked it. <laughs> um, I will. Uh, I will only swing for eighteen. Uh, eighteen. Oh, where was it? It's a big pile of ooze, but it is squishy. Um, is this serious? Is this? Is it seriously? Oh no. Okay. I, I'm like that can't be right. Uh, uh, um, fifteen. Um, oh, that's why. Huh. There we go. Oop. No, I fucked it up. An 18 <laughs> does not hit it. Okay. We're like, uh, it's all gross and slimy. Yes. All right, now we can do initiative. Great. Um, let's see, I need a number for him. I'm sorry, did you actually hit a genius with an 18? No. Okay. I missed it. Okay. You missed it. Ugh. Uh, oops, too far. All right, crew, what do you got for an initiative? Um, would you say I can use uh, stealth for initiative or not? Uh, I would have had you not attacked it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you attacked uh, it. It's where you're there now, so. <laughs> 18. 18? Ah, bed. Nine. Two? Mm -hmm. uh, Kane. 19. 19. Excellent. Good job. And Miss Frost. Also nine. Also nine. <laughs> uh, who, who first, Miss Frost or Abed? Abed. Abed first, okay. All right. It sure. turns around. Crew looks at you, and uh, oops, I don't want to look at crew. I want to look at it. Um, I need a reflex save from you. As the sides of it, it kind of splits into you, and the sides of it go to try and grab you and engulf you. I really need that slick rune, but hey, uh, 18 plus 11 is 29. You actually the evade. You evade it. Um, you, you jump back out of its way, and it, like, one of the mouths, like, there's a mouth on there that doesn't have any teeth, and it kind of gurgles and burbles and spits at you. Um, mm. That is it. Oh, no, I didn't want to roll two dice. I need to roll one die. Not two. Um, for 31 to hit. Actually, hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, 31 to hit, because this is not a... <sighs> I'm sorry, say that one more time, because I definitely need to hear you say 31 one more time. As Matt Mercer <laughs> said in the, <laughs> in the thing, let me have my fun. Of course it is. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it is a crit. My AC is 20. Oh, oh, Jesus. Um, okay. Um, you may be down. Who's getting the one shot crit? This is me. Getting... See, this is what happens when you run out first, crew. Uh, you yeah. take 30 points of acid damage. Um, yeah. I'm going to lay down plus, on the ground, not voluntarily. Uh, plus, <laughs> if you were still standing, um, I'd need a fortitude save, but you're not still standing. <laughs> no. Nope. He's no longer standing. All right. Uh, that Maybe I should have drank my potion. Kane. <laughs> Drinking your potion might have been good before charging into combat. I mean, 26 should have been enough hit points, but... All right. You took 21 so from that. the eye <laughs> I know. in the other room, and that was a haunt. <laughs> this is a creature. <laughs> Not just a creature, to... a really big, gross one full of mouths. I'm going to rage. So we'll do that. I don't know if you understand where all the mouths come from, but the fact that as many should be a very big warning. In fact, uh, Abed, you would know where the mouths come from. The mouths come from every soul that it is engulfed and swallowed over time. It adds another mouth to the surface of it. Lovely. So the many, it's had many hundreds of victims at this point. <laughs> your, your, what was a what? <laughs> Sorry. I raged and then I will attack. Okay. Um, Twenty. Hit. 20? Yep. 
20 just misses. Oh, shit. All right. AC's 21. Mm. And then we will do the second attack. 25. 25 does hit. We'll do 11 bludgeoning damage to it. All right. 11 bludgeoning damage to it. Well, okay, okay. Is that all your turn? Like Crew. Rage. So, so do I move in the initiative to right before the oh, yes, to do. bring Mother's turn? Okay, you good. do. You do. Thank you for reminding me. So you should be above the ring Mother, then. or at the bottom, whichever. It's I think the same. Yeah. Whichever is easiest for you. I put you above the ring Mother because it says just before. And I think it uses the word before in the rules uh that moves us to abed hey abed <clears throat> well i definitely Your did not is s- dead. S- yeah i did not see that happen yet i, I guess i'm glad i didn't go in the water because this would be a bad place to be uh that'd be a bad place to be unconscious mm-hmm. i would have needed i would have needed a swim check jeff <laughs> that water's I'm water's five, deeper ten, than you are tall sir 15 i have uh I'm a formerly a sailor, so I have um, uh, underwater marauder. Oh, okay. Which may or may not have helped. My yeah. apologies. I needed a save from you at the start of your turn. What kind of save? Um, where is it? A noisy save. Yes, a noisy save. Um, here it is. Uh, a will save. I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> I was gonna say don't bo- don't bother re-rolling it. Go ahead and re-roll it, but don't. I mean, like honestly, most of the damage has been done, unless you're gonna critically fail. <laughs> I rolled a ten. You rolled the ten. Okay, you're confused for one round, but you we've been through your combat already, and that's my fault. So you're just confused for any saves you got to make until the beginning of your next turn. So. I'm confused. Okay. You're almost blinded. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean... Oh, it does no, make I, me flat-footed. It, does it, was, it was a different thing. Yeah. You are confused for one round. Oh, yeah, there's no... Okay, cool. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's different. Than when I can't use reactions. Way. Yep. Interesting. All right. So Abed, yeah, then you come out and you're where you're at. What do you what, you moved? That's one action. Did did what are you we doing say with actions two and three? Did we say how many charges the staff gets? Is it one per? You take your levels halved, or something, or did we for the necromancy staff? It's your level, I think, up uh, to. Where was it? It's, it's the level, it's the spell rank that you can put in. That your highest spell rank, which is two, okay. I believe. I'll, yes. I can look yep. it up, but so, I think yep. it was two. So I have two charges, right? Uh, no, it's half your highest spell rank, I thought it was. Wasn't it? Or I think it's I think it's the whole... Thank you. Uh, yeah. Staff of Necromancy. Somewhere. Here. I thought, it, I thought it was one charge. You get one charge per day. I could be wrong. And I'm not finding it either. To... That's fine. I'll just... I'll, be, I'll look it up after the show. I mean, we're close enough. Yeah. I'm just going to use one spell from it. <clears throat> okay. Um, I am going to cast Grim Tendrils. So I'm going to move to that spot, and I'm going to hold the staff kind of by my side and point my fingers out, kind of like I'm going to do that Force Lightning. Okay. And uh, the twist... Uh, do, 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 oops. Grim tendrils. Uh, tendrils of darkness and curl... Uh, tendrils of darkness curl out from your fingertips and race through the air, uh, dealing 1d4 negative damage and one persistent bleed damage to living creatures in a line. So it's a 30-foot line. 
So it's just straight ahead of me. Uh, um, doo -doo -doo. It went back one second, sorry. Kane, you did 11 damage, correct? I did, yes. Bludgeoning damage? Yes. It seemed to do a little bit more than you thought it would do. Cool. Just read that. I was looking. I was looking for vulnerabilities, and I went, "Oh, hey, <laughs> we've had some of those damage already applied. I should give you guys the bonus." All right. So, does he need a save or it's anything? It's a fortitude save. Uh, all right. Uh, what is the? What does he need to beat? Um. So, uh, I'll, I'll let you. F yeah. Uh, Archives of Nethys now has the new and old rules. Cool. Good so, uh, the Staff of Necromancy is called the Staff of the Dead, apparently. Okay. Um, when we upgrade at some point. Yep. Um, still haven't found the how to charge it. Uh, well, the upgrade will be <clears throat> the Don Wanderer's Guide, so. Yeah. Yep. Where do I find Fortitude? It's it's your magic DC. Oh, my magic DC. Your spell, your spell DC is the DC for it. Oh. Uh, I am looking for that. If you click on your spell tab, I think it's right there at the top. It should be at the top. Or any spell, it should say. All right, hold that thought. Uh, 19. 19. Okay. Uh, really? Really? He fails. 16. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. That's unreal. Actually, he fails with a 17. Sorry. Uh, okay. A staff gains charges when someone prepares it for the day, adding a number of charges to the staff equal to the highest level of spell they're able to Ooh. cast. So you have two charges. So I have two charges. So two charges total, cool. total. So he gets three negative damage and uh, one persistent bleed damage. One persistent bleed. And that's persistence are on this turn? I think, yes. It doesn't say, yeah. I mean, the persistent, I would assume, would be at the, either the beginning or end of his turn. End of his turn, I think it is. We're going to play that way unless Jeff yeah. looks it up and corrects me mid combat. I'm, that would make sense um, to me, right? I might. It'll give him something to do considering Cruz laying on the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, is that you got? It. Yep. That's all your actions. Yep. Nice. Cost. Uh, all right, that moves. Doing a spell from the staff, I believe, is a two action. Okay. Most spells are two actions. Uh, that moves us to Miss Frost. You Miss Frost is, yeah, she's uh, gonna heal on um, on crew. Okay. Seeing him just kind of lay in there, like she gasps audibly. And, uh, My word! <laughs> we get that corrected right away here. I love that she has a southern bell accent. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be one of my favorite things about her. <clears throat> All right, so Not that's thirteen sass. through. Thank you. And then she's not moving. She's gonna stay as far away from the thing as um, possible. On the. Yeah, I needed a will say from you. <laughs> Because you were in sight of it, you were in sight of it and range of it. Miss Frost. Yes, at the beginning of your turn. Did you need me I to do that? Need too? one from Abed because he was around a corner. Oh, okay. So. All right, roll and die plus ten. Um, persistent damage is end Wait, of turn. Yeah, you're, you for the next minute you are immune to the gibbering. <clears throat> yes. So for ten rounds, nice. you're immune to the gibbering. Um. All right, and then I'm just looking through to see if there's anything I can do from the range I'm at. 
see the tail work from this ring? No, it's too far no. away. Too far away. I do have a sling. Um, there you but, go. <laughs> but let's see, 50 feet. Yeah, that's within 50 feet. Yep. So, yeah, I'll just me? snap. I'll snap the sling. Yep, it's B damage, so that's good. Nice. That is good. It's helpful. Uh, but it was not a good attack. <laughs> oh, so, a mess. A the the am ammunition hits the back wall and into the pond below. Um, that moves us to crew. You are currently prone. I would like to stand up. Yep. <laughs> would the real crew please stand up? Please stand up. Um, I think I'm going to. Let's see. It did acid damage at me, right? Yes. So acid splash against it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, I will attack with the rapier. And it's a 19, which I think misses. 19 does miss, yes. Um, oh, wait. Started my turn, or am I immune? Or did I miss the... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. You would you would have to... Yep. Because I saved before, but I don't know that I crit saved. You were, you were... Oh, did you save before on the... Yeah, and I think I cleared up my dice already, so... Yeah. Was it? A, it wasn't a reflex save, was it? No, it's not a reflex okay. save. Okay. No. Oh, that was something else that you were doing. It was trying okay. to grab you. That was that save before. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I cleared up my dice from the. This this is a gibbering save. It's a will uh, save. Twenty two. Yep, you save. You're good for a minute. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. So I stood up. I missed, and then. Um, considering I only have the 13 hit points, I think I'm going to, uh, move away. So I'm going to move. I'm going to go for here. Okay. And hope it doesn't have an AO attack. Nuts. that's... That would be my turn. Oh, cool. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> when the no, DM says cool. It's got something cooler oh. that Jeff missed before <clears throat> with an attack that might have... Like, it's got a lot of stuff, and I'm just kind of reading through it now. So, um, I should have... I didn't think you were coming this way, but I should have prepared better. I had, I at least had the encounter prepared. Uh, so, crew, you move away at no AO. Uh, is that where you're staying? Yep. All right. Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Where is it going to see? I got some from there. I got some from there. He is going to move into the water and out onto this island with a move. And then he is going to spit at Kane. One of the mouths will open up and spit out at Kane. That's a 26. 25. That is. 25 bit. Um, that is. I can't believe there's no reset on this. That's crazy. Um. It's, 17 acid damage. And I need a um, fortitude save from you. Funny. You are uh, dazzled for one round. Hmm. You you are so dazzling. I get to roll a DC f eleven flat check to try to come off the confusion whenever damage is dealt to me. So let me roll that. 
Yep, I rolled a 14, so I'm no longer confused, but I'm dazzled. You are dazzled. And then... <laughs> with his second... How far is this? Would you say you're bedazzled? Um, he, a different mouth is going to turn and, um, spit at Abed, because Abed is in range as well. No! Oh, I got, I can't clear that. I gotta actually roll the attack. <laughs> I'm rolling damage so, dice already. Uh, so there's attack, a 15 attack roll at you. Gets the penalty, right? Yep. Because yep. it's second attack. Oh yeah, it's a 15. It's good. Negative Ghost Rider. All right, the acid hits the back wall and runs down it, kind of sizzling. Uh, Kane, here we go. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of your turn, because oh, you haven't end, end of the yet. end of the gibbering mouther's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, it takes a bleed. The persistent damage. <clears throat> it takes the damage and then attempts a DC 15 flat check to see if it recovers from okay. the persistent damage. All right, let's see. DC 15 flat check. 13, so it does not recover from it yet. Okay. Alright, then the beginning of Kane's turn, I need a will save. I have to make the save even though I took it and then recovered from it? Um. I can make, I can try, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about recovering from the confusion. 23 on the check. We'll then save. now you save, so you're good for 10 rounds now. All right. And the uh, people rejoice. Proceed with your turn. Yay. You could take one step. Yeah, you could stand there in that yeah, in that square and still reach him with your 10 foot reach. <laughs> then does Dazzled require any special it, he is concealed to me, so I assume that's an AC bonus of some sort. Concealed? Uh, is that a like a DC five pre-roll? Is that? Let's is, see. Yeah, <clears throat> I was gonna say search concealed quick. It's in the vision rules, and they're this is something I gotta get better at because the vision rules are fucking wild. Dire creatures concealed. You must attempt a DC five flat check before you roll. Yeah, uh, like fog. We had that yep. when we had the fog creature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. I will roll that DC five flat check. I also dazzle creatures with my moonbeam, so that's it right. Up quite Good a to bit. know. All right, so that's I succeeded on that flat check, so I can swing away. Good thing you have reach. Helpful, isn't it? Eighteen will miss. I'll roll another flat check. 17, succeed on that. Second attack. 25. 25 hits. And bludgeoning damage. And bludgeoning damage. And again, it does more than you thought it should have. Nice. Bludgeoning seems to be a thing for it. <laughs> bludgeoning is definitely and a and thing. I'm done. <laughs> uh, that moves us to bed. Alright, so I need to roll. Yes. Uh, Will? Uh, did you succeed? I was around no, the corner, so I didn't roll. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Will save, You're right? the one that hasn't succeeded at this point. Everyone else is Ooh. safe for a minute. 13. 13. You are confused. And that means that... A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Confused. You don't have your wits about you and you attack wildly. You are flat-footed. You don't treat anyone as your ally, though they may still treat you as theirs. You can't delay or ready or use reactions. You use all of your actions to strike or cast offensive cantrips, though the GM can have you use other actions to facilitate attacks, such as draw a weapon. Move so that a target is in reach, and so forth. Your, target, your targets are determined randomly by the GM. If you have no other viable targets, you target yourself. Mm -mm. Automatically hitting your... But not... I should have read this before. Um, it's nasty, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, being confused now, going in on your turn, um, I'm going to have you... Like, if you try and attack this thing, there'll be a 50% chance that you actually attack Kane instead. 
distance yeah. between you and it. <laughs> That's fine. I was... And it will be it will be Kane choosing high or low on whatever die you roll. I'll let yeah. you choose what die you want to roll. Or, or you know, just cast uh, that swarm thing and just hit them all. Nice, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Vomit swarm. The swarm of yeah. Bees. Um, I am going to uh, do my uh, up, 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 my telekinetic projectile. So I'm going to force throw rocks at it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, roll uh, before you actually roll your uh, to hit um, yeah roll any one of the die you want uh, Rick go ahead and choose high or low and then Tom hi. tell us what die okay hi what die are you rolling Tom? Tom. what do you mean what die like R- roll any die you like they're all you're even confused. numbered dies just high low you're confused so this is whether or not you're hitting Kane oh. or hitting me I uh, yeah. what did you say Rick Rick said hi I, so I rolled a 15 what, on a D20? D20. On a D7. <laughs> on a D7. <laughs> so he even missed me. You, it, well, no, that was, was right. attacking you. Yeah, but so, I was uh, right. I guess right. <laughs> <laughs> so he could attack the other thing. <laughs> Fine, I will give it to you because we did not specify. Well done. Um, all right. So you're attacking the other Yep, and that was a 21 to hit. Off. 21 just hits it. <laughs> we did not specify. Well played, sir. <laughs> That's uh... I guess right. I get the benefit. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yes. I, I like it. Nine bludgeoning. Because if it's a boulder slash rock, I'm assuming that's going to be bludgeoning. Yep. Yep. It does more damage than you thought it would do. Nice. Oh, nine. That was yep. a good one. That is not... <laughs> Almost crit. Uh, 1d6 plus 4. Nice. This. That's what it be. I put the damage in that you dealt. Because <laughs> I think that's how uh, D&D Beyond worked. I, I, I gotta put their new hit point total in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, significantly so, more hit points than the damage you dealt that time. Oh, well, that's so. a bummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, is and maybe that this every is, uh, Do you sell an action? Could- question on cantrips on wanderer's guide uh cantrips automatically heighten to our level like spell level or spell right do they no because you can't think. you can't cast it at a higher level so if it has heightened it's it's automatically heightened right that's how cantrips work so it should be 2d6 oh i then. i've have not been playing that way i thought heightened i had to sp- um That'd be interesting. I don't know about that. I was at height. In... They do automatically heighten, so it's, uh, that way they stay viable throughout the whole campaign. Otherwise, they would just become. Uh, well, yeah, useless. yeah, because that would be. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So Tom, play it as two d six. So roll another d six. Oh, sweet! That beginning. makes me happy in the shorts. Uh, that's uh, another three bludgeoning. Yeah, I uh... thought it automatically. It might, that makes you sense because that's your be a, that's your auto attack basically. Okay, Tom, check right. check. Um, there might be a toggle on the first on the, your first setup screen or first uh, edit screen that might be uh, automatically heighten cantrips or something. Or, uh, or there, I think there's an auto heighten button, but we can look for that later. That's yeah. your whole turn then, Abed. Yep. Miss Frost. All right. So... Bring in the nasty. Um. Five. Oh, you saved, so you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. So Miss Frost might. Uh, all right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five. And then, uh, um, some lightning bolt crackling. And I am going to attack with Inner Radiance Torrent. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, uh, let's see if I hopefully hits. Wait, I'm sorry. Uh, it is not It is not an attack roll. It is a reflex save. Reflex save. Thirty-one. Holy shit! Yeah, I um, know, right? 
Okay then. That probably <laughs> save. That's and that's I'm not really its in. best save. Just to say it's not its best save stat, Fortitude is. That's why when it failed at a 17, I'm like, really? Yeah, I mean, it definitely saves. Um, if it crit if it critically saved, which it looks like your spell DC, it probably critically saved. Yeah, but I think it's no go, damage. It doesn't go through saving... No, because it's a basic basic it's reflex basic save, it follows the save. basic, which yeah, critical is no damage. Okay, well, success I is half. Point. Yeah. And it but doesn't critical. seem to have any problem just dodging it. So, uh, that is it. It, like, mm. carries her own over the surface of the water. Uh, crew, we are back to you, sir. All right. You know, it's funny because I not the last time we went back to town but the time before that I sold my bow and arrows because I didn't think that they were very helpful you didn't now, think there'd be water deep over your head and you'd be shooting out onto an island huh? <laughs> pretty much and I figured I'd have spells you know now taking the sorcerer um, so uh, how much, I guess how much is a bow and arrows and would that qualify for your hey i forgot <laughs> this uh i'd have to look i think it's i think it may not be able to be weapons yeah i, uh, I have a feeling it's not. um i'll it look but enough. i'm oh, shit i forgot i had this <laughs> i meant to sell that <laughs> uh, 30 feet let's see is it 30 feet away five ten yeah okay i'm just gonna try the um, the acid splash because that's what I got to replace my ranged weapons with. So, all right. Um, it's either that or um, you know, throw a rock at it, which probably is about the same. Um, I'm gonna make a spell attack. So this is action one and two is an eleven. So an eleven yeah. is a critical failure. Okay, I don't think that. I don't think it does anything. Matters. Either. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, then just do Guidance on Kane because he's right up in the fray. All right. Kane, you are guided. Yeah. And the only one getting anything done, for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> so Kane does not need to save when it becomes its turn. Um, it is going to spit at you, Kane. Again, for was... 33 to hit. <laughs> That's a crit. Um, so if it's a crit, it's 24 acid damage. Lovely. And then I need a fortitude saving throw. Good, googly muggly. 28. Um. Yeah, that saves. Your dazzle goes away. Um, <laughs> your dazzling goes away, but now all of your armor has <laughs> melted off your body. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, let's see. Sizzling going, like bacon in a frying pan. It's going to <laughs> bit at Miss Frost then. Uh, let's see, this oh, is oh, a. Cool. 31. Oh no, not 31. 26 to hit. She, she would explode. Um, That is a regular hit. Uh, it's 14 acid damage. And then its last spit is going to be at Kerr. <laughs> 8 to hit. <laughs> Miss. Yeah. Low die rolls. You uh, mean a, a low die roll? Yeah. Well, there's been two of them. He he failed his fortitude saving throw with a plus fifteen. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are at King then. All right. Uh, you it takes one death. bleed damage. Sorry, it takes one bleed damage, and then oh, yeah. make its roll. Uh, the flat 15. 
Yep. Six. It does not say still bleeding. It's still bleeding. Alright. Let's keep swinging. Can you, ha you, you have a guidance uh, plus one if you want to use it, but you have to do it. I will use it on my first attack. You... Yay. And I still miss. 16 misses. Ooh. Second attack, Ooh. 12. All, 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 all the mouths on the gibbering bow, they go, boo. <laughs> nope, 15, 12, and 11. Missed on all three attacks. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> they, 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 they start pounding you. <laughs> start laughing. Um, <laughs> we'll stop that. <laughs> Uh, am I still... Do I have to roll for... Yes. Confusion? Yep, because it only lasts for a round and it starts at the beginning of the next round until you save from it. Uh, will save? Will save, yes. How does a 24 tickle that? 24 saves your ass. So you will you save. Can... You will save. <laughs> oh, I definitely uh. will save. Uh, so is this no longer Jesus saves, it's will saves? Will mm -hmm. saves. Will Byers. <laughs> he saves. All right. I'm doing the telekinetic projectile again. I'm going to force throw. And I did go and I uh, toggled on auto heighten. That's amazing. There you go. Ha ha. Oh, great. Awesome. I was like, I thought it automatically did it, but it doesn't automatically automatically. The, the bummer is that I missed. Uh, I rolled in the Bummer's the attack roll sucked. Yeah. The bummer is that I... I <laughs> Uh, got penalized for auto heightening. Uh, and then I'll throw out my shield. Throw out your shield. All right. Uh, all right. That moves us then to Miss Frost. All right. So, um, I think I'm gonna try to moonbeam. Just try mm. to get some damn damage in. Roll that damn damage. Oh, it doesn't have eyes, right? Is that what... correct? It doesn't have eyes, but it has an ability called all around vision, which means it can't be flat footed. Okay. It senses all around itself. I find it funny that it's called all around vision, although it has no eyes. No eyes. So I guess just the point is it can't uh, can't be dazzled. It doesn't say that it can't, so you can dazzle it. Okay. All right, well, here we go. It would have an immunity to the dazzled effect if you couldn't. Damn. Oh, I forgot. I'm rolling in the dice. Yeah, though. you're rolling physical dice, sir. Do not be clicking on dice. I'm not allowing you that anymore. That's how bad you've been rolling. <laughs> I rolled the exact same number, so... <laughs> and it was... Bum, bum, it no. was, God say no, it doesn't matter if they're physical or digital. Man. Ouch. Just unbelievable. Okay, uh, I will... Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to move then. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. I got to get into the range do, 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 so that I can use a more effective attack. And then I'm done. Then you are done. That was just crew. All right. Um, Doody -doody -doo. I don't seem to be doing a whole lot with what I'm doing. Um, I'm thinking that I have a minor healing potion that. Um, Did you say I don't seem to be do doing a whole lot with uh, what I'm doing? Did yeah. You like? Oh no, you didn't slink. You acid splashed. Yeah, right. and it didn't do anything. So, um, but I do yes. have a, a healing right. potion. Uh, that would be in an external pocket somewhere. So um, I would like to attempt to feed it to Kane because I feel like he's the only one. Uh, okay, so you take a five foot step towards him and then. Yeah, so how many two actions, actions to pull it out of the pocket? It's so two actions to actions. give it to someone else. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Kane should have so, one of those beer helmets to where, and like, it's actually, as he's it's, fighting, you can just pour it into his beer helmet. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say, instead of like, because it's five feet, your movement is you actually running 
and climbing up on um, Kane's back and saying, "Open up, Kane!" <laughs> and you literally get back up on his shoulders and you're back on his shoulders, pouring the potion in his mouth. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. That looked bad. <laughs> um, like so uh, that puppy is so damn cute. Right I know, right? I'm just can't, right, I can't so stop staring at it. I will do that and. Uh, <laughs> 1d it's a minor healing potion so it's only 1d8 it's six though so you got your six more six points of health hope, hope it, it might helps. be enough might be enough so with the moving and the feeding that's all i got all right then it and he, is... if not he's at least good cover for me it is going to spit at you chill. abed Uh, but, oh, I don't need two of those. So does it have? Does Abed have cover? Some kind of per, like? Yeah, he's got cover behind it. Yeah. There's a circumstance bonus. To, it's a nat one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> it spit on itself. That's one of those it's, things where you, when you you know when you go to spit, true. it just kind of you don't spit very well. And it, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of drills. That's exactly what it does. It's it's like kind of on the outside of its skin. That one mouth kind of screams a little bit. Um, then it is going to spit at Kane, who's directly in front of him. Oh, uh, 25. It hits. It hits. It's not a crit, though, so that's the important thing. Uh, don't roll really well. <laughs> 11. <laughs> hey, 11. 11 has the damage. <laughs> um, and then one at Miss Frost. Because it doesn't think it can hit. Um, and that's a 15 to hit. Ah, just misses. Actually, it's not even 15. It's a 9. <laughs> I read that wrong. Okay, yeah, that feels better. Yeah, that, that completely misses. And that is its turn. We are moving <clears throat> to Kane. Hey, do we need to... Uh, we should probably... Oh, it needs to take a point of damage and try and save. Oh, shit. Yeah, um... Yeah. Why don't we hold there? We'll start with Kane. I was going to say, did it take its persistent damage? That's I just did. I took its persistent damage. We'll roll its flat roll here to see if it gets up from burning. Nope, it does not. It's a 10. So it is still burning. And we will stop there because I did not realize it's 10 a.m. Holy shit. Yep. Yep. Time flies when you are having fun. Sure does. It sure certainly does. Give me one. Yeah, I almost have this thing bloodied. (laughs) Almost. (laughs) If if we stop missing, and by we I mean you know me mostly, I just I was gonna say you're doing not the, the bludgeoning damage is doing. It's a honestly, it, you attacked with a rapier, Jeff. Yeah. Is that piercing or slashing? Um. Yeah. Either or, he can choose. Um. No, I. Uh, I think it's either or. I think you actually can choose. Uh, the ra- rapier. rapier is piercing. The kukri is slashing. Um. Okay. Neither one, I think, has. The alternate no so yeah. but I haven't hit it with I don't think anything yet so yeah yeah <laughs> if you would have hit it with anything it would have been bloody by now it's that close to being bloody <laughs> <sighs> all right we are two nerds in quest we gonna are resort here. to throwing rocks <laughs> right uh we are here Sunday mornings 8 30 a.m central time <laughs> twitch.tv forward slash tom m norm uh, bit.ly forward slash nerd tube to go catch up on YouTube. All of our shows are there. Uh, see everything that we've done from the beginning of time, all 175 episodes. You just won't be able to see the one that we had to bail out on. <laughs> <laughs> um, support the show. Let other people know that we are here. Um, subscribe to either channel free. Doesn't cost anything to, to follow the channel, get notified when we go live. Um, yeah, that's all we ask is that you join us here in chat and have fun along with us. Everything else is just bonus. Um, join our discord bit.ly forward slash our fun discord. Talk to us about movies, music, games, whatever. We're going to be putting our, um, March Madness title selection into discord. Uh, that'll be a fun place to kind of keep track of that over the next several weeks. And, uh, we'll be doing some voting on that today. So the first uh, round will be there. Oh, 
so much fun. Uh, so for me, for Rick, for Coach, for Genius, and for Mr. DMJC, who looks extra specially handsome today with his beautiful camera. <laughs> Later, nerds. <laughs> I feel pretty, so pretty, so pretty, and pretty, and fine. <laughs>